Bobby Kennedy was a beacon of hope in an era of madness. Robert Francis Kennedy was born in Brookline, Massachusetts on November 20th, 1925, the seventh of nine children and the brother of future president John F. Kennedy. Robert F. Kennedy was the son of Joseph P. Kennedy, who was ambassador to Great Britain, but also was the head of the SEC and was a controversial individual. Robert Kennedy attended Harvard and then went on to the University of Virginia Law School. During his time in law school, he met Ethel Skakel, who happened to be the roommate of his sister. They were married in 1950 and raised 11 children. In 1951, Kennedy went to work for the U.S. Department of Justice's Criminal Division, but left that post less than a year later to run his brother John F. Kennedy's successful senatorial campaign. For the rest of the 1950s, Kennedy worked in Washington as chief counsel for various Senate subcommittees. In 1960, he successfully managed his brother's presidential campaign. When JFK became president, he selected his brother, Bobby Kennedy, as his attorney general. Bobby Kennedy became his most trusted advisor. This became especially critical during the Cuban Missile Crisis in October of 1962. Bobby Kennedy was crucial in coming up with a solution, which was to blockade Cuba and send an ultimatum to Premier Nikita Khrushchev of the Soviet Union. Robert Kennedy as Attorney General is perhaps best known for his role in increasing the conviction rates of organized crime by 800%. After his brother was assassinated in 1963, Robert Kennedy continued as Attorney General under President Lyndon Johnson, with whom he was at odds. A year later, Kennedy won a Senate seat from New York. Robert Kennedy began his career is very unpopular, and this changed following JFK's death and the sympathy that he poured as a result of that. By 1968, his popularity soared. In 1968, Robert Kennedy ran for President of the United States. The Vietnam War was raging, civil rights activism was at its height, many difficulties were occurring, and what Kennedy was promoting gave a lot of hope to young people during that time. One of the really important things about Robert F. Kennedy is that he was able to speak to the controversial issues in the 1960s in a way that united people rather than divided them. On June 5th, 1968, after delivering his victory speech following the California Democratic presidential primary while exiting through the kitchens of Los Angeles' Ambassador Hotel, Robert F. Kennedy was shot. He died the next day. Bobby Kennedy was a great American who recognized the struggles that the United States was in the 1960s, who could have been a, such a shining figure in our politics had he not been assassinated in 1968.